guys. Welcome back to Fashion Attack. <laughs> Today, we are together with a super good friend that has been moving in a new apartment just recently. So lucky, because we redid the apartment from zero. This was a complete experiment, to be honest, because we did everything. We did the walls together, we did the couch together, we did the lights together, we did the tables together. I think that you don't understand what we're talking about because we need to show you how it looked before. We're literally gonna look at the pictures of the before together. Time passed that I didn't even remember how it looked. This is so dark and creepy. I'm so happy I got my hands on this and we transformed the place completely. You're gonna be amazing. So, what were you expecting? I was just expecting anything to make this place <laughs> turn over. I was dreading moving into this place because it was so horrible, as you will see. It was say. so dark. So, so dark. dark. The walls were literally dark brown. I love though that you're saying that we did the couch and we did the table. We, we, we did. did. It was a collaboration. We, we thought about it together. My first step is always the one of making several 3Ds, trying to figure out what is the perfect alignment of the furniture, the taste, the style, and what will make the person comfortable in her own apartment. After we found the perfect one that suited her personality, I even made a drawing of the specific furniture I wanted to build up for her. Biggest issue and biggest challenge was to make this place, this, this place <laughs> bright and homey, and we wanted to add it some brightness because the lights are actually very good, but the place was so dark, like all the walls were brown. All the walls what? were brown. dark brown. And the floor. And the floor. So it fit together. Um, we're still trying to figure out why. Normal. I think it was even expensive to install all this dark wood around the walls. Like it was such a thing. I know you guys can't wait for us to stop the chitty chatting and show you the transformation of the entire place. I want to remind you that all this is a summary of a hundred tutorials I did because I showed you how to make this wall specifically and we decided first of all make everything white then divide it in two and make this paneling awesome thing where the top would stay white and the bottom would be blue. If you want to learn how to do it just follow the video up here in the corner. Same thing for all the other tutorials. Here just enjoy the entire process of this transformation. This color made everything so bright. This is so old and literally we had to get rid of everything like it wasn't only getting rid of the mess and the color and whatever It was this freaking couch that was stuck here. Remember that? that I yeah, had... one of the best things that she had to face is not only moving into an apartment that had to be redone is that the old uh, Tenants decided that if she wanted to move in she had to buy the couch <laughs> Which she should accept doing but obviously we remade a new one Zero, Way more. <laughs> the budget would have allowed us just to get a couch from Ikea and that was absolutely unacceptable to me. I wanted something looking absolutely dope. So I decided to get my hands ready to make a couch absolutely from zero and I built it this awesome super comfortable. Okay, I think we have to talk about a little detail that I know is your favorite, the lightning. I know that it has been hard for you when I told you that I wanted to take out the lights in the kitchen and you love that so much. <laughs> I feel bad making fun of this because if my landlord ever sees this and it's like, well, we were debating, we yeah. should look it down. <laughs> we have to find the name of the owner and block him so he's never going to see this video. <laughs> so, the lights were driving me crazy. They were so ugly, that's first of all. But then, like, you would sit in the living room and they would be just there in front of your face and it was so bright. It was horrible. I mean, we got to take them down. And then we got into this discussion because after she took them down to switch them around, it was like... Is it something super cheap that someone bought at some point, God knows why, yeah, they thought it was nice? Or is it something that like my landlord's like grandmother or something and then we have to keep it? You know so we're pieces, literally keeping it. you have no idea. Like, or it's like a tool thing from Chinatown or maybe it's like a really old vintage piece it's been here so for cool. generations. So and we, cool. yeah, but we, we kept it aside, but it's off, it's away. We were it's scared of asking him if he can throw it. What is this girl doing with a salad jar? I'm making a lamp. Yes, exactly. The cheapest and so cool and elegant piece. I just made holes on both the two ends and then sprayed it in the color of choice. In my case, it was gold. And then you just pass the threads inside and you have a lamp. Yes, guys, you're gonna have the link for every single piece I use to transform the place down in the description box, but let's go ahead. Another thing that made the room look so much smaller was this table in between the living room and the kitchen. Also because there's a half wall that was dividing the space and she couldn't fit an oven. So I just cut it out the table, put it on top of the half wall so that now we had like a bar section that we could put higher stools. Painted it then in the color that we chose for the rest of the living room and ta -da, we have an entire bar area and the space to add an oven. For the coffee table, I also made it from scratch. I just cut some wood 
and make this awesome triangular shape that would fit one inside the other, but I wanted it to look elegant and expensive. So I made this super pimp up thing where I made it look like marble. It looks awesome. You always have a video to explain you all the steps. Another super important thing is always art. You cannot have a place without art. In Current stage is that we did this awesome continued line paintings over here without even spending a penny because I just applied on top of the original paper some A4, sticking them all together so that we could make it for this huge frame because printing them out is already super expensive. And then it's important that while you draw, you keep them one close to the other so that you see that the line continues. Negative side. Dush. But why? Why would you do that? Why would you do any of that? Time to align all our paintings and go ahead with all the details. One thing that was driving me crazy and was making the <laughs> was these super old handles. They were so rusty that somehow the screwdriver wasn't opening them, so I used this knife. No, I don't recommend it at home, but only after replacing the screw inside, I could use a normal screw to change the handles. Other thing that is super fundamental in any place is curtains. I used a uh, mop. Is this a word of it? Anyway, I just used a stick of it. Made some this cute, very simple shapes with a piece of leather in which I would wrap the stick and made the curtain out of it. Now that I knew that the size was perfect, I went ahead and sprayed in the same color of the lamp, also little screws so that it would look so perfect, and put it all inside. So I had curtains in the same color of the couch. Guys, I think you're ready. I think you're ready. I think I'm ready. Let's go on and see the review. Let's take a moment and see the before again so that you can compare it to this. It was an absolute transformation. It looked insane at the end. Guys, I know that I did not show you how to make a kitchen, but that's because it requires a tutorial all of its own. And I'm going to publish that next time, teaching you how to paint your uh, countertop, how to change the color of your drawers, and make your kitchen look different on absolutely a budget. Now, let's look also at the living room. Yes, I saw it. Kitchen is awesome. Living room. Yes, yes the living room absolutely insane what's gonna happen here oh my god it is such a difference i'm so excited of the result and my friend loved it she finally can host all the friends she wants not be embarrassed of her place and actually make them jealous yes we're mean we want people to be jealous of our place <laughs> guys don't forget to subscribe i hope you had fun and like always see you next time